I told you I tested the nigga. What you doing? <laughs> you don't know what to say to what you doing? Like, nigga, what do you? I'm like, like, it's the fact that he lied to his friends. Talk about something. He told me he ain't like me. Those words never left your mouth. No. Whatever you do, do not buy a tripod from Find Below. I mean, I, I got to, this is like common knowledge, like the, but basically, I mean, I bought one. You trying to be cheap, you want to buy a little, yeah, because I'm going to do my makeup because I'm mad. So, yeah, I got my Hello Kitty shirt on. This is actually from Charlotte Roos. So, if y'all want graphic tees for $10, find your little Charlotte Roos. They always in like the dead malls that nobody ever go to. So yeah, basically the tripod come with two of these that hold the phone. But this one been broken. That shit when I put it in there, like the string, I guess it been popped out of this one. But when I put it, my try put my phone in there, it don't hold it. Like my phone kept slipping out. The spring, as soon as I put the new one on there, the spring just fucking popped out. Like at this point, like you just don't want me to do this shit. That's fine. My nylon photo card. This is from when I got the candy bomb. Y'all. The price concert was so good. I was just thinking about it. I'm literally just going through this bag. And as I do this shit, I'm putting it away. Because this is still my makeup bag from when I went on vacation. I ain't unpacked nothing. Because I don't really be doing makeup no more. I'm literally, literally, unless I'm really going out to wear. I don't be going to wear. All I do is go home and go to work. Go home and go to work. I don't have no type of life. That's why I'm trying to grind and make these videos. Because shit, I'm not going nowhere else. If I'm in the house, I might as well film a video. Also, yeah, y'all saw, if you watched my last video, I bought this big old make it last. Listen, the, I spray a lot of setting spray every time I do my makeup. So, it be gone hella fast. I'm using this e.l.f. I'm going to just tell y'all what it is. Cause I, I got time. So with the primer, I use Hydro Grip by Milk Makeup. Honestly, when I run out of it, as y'all see, I'm running out. I'm literally almost, oh shit, almost empty. I think I'm going to just get the Jelly Pop primer because e.l.f. is bringing back the Jelly Pop. I think I might just... I think they're going to make it permanent. They better. If they don't make it permanent, it's like, what the fuck? Everybody been begging for that. And y'all not going to make it permanent? Like, y'all some assholes. If, if they don't make it permanent, they some assholes. I don't care how cheap they shit is. They some assholes. Because everybody comes saying, get the jelly pop. Get the jelly pop. Oh, but the jelly pop is, um, it was, they stopped, they had stopped making it. They had people was going to fucking TJ Maxx and shit to go get it. So I'm using the e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel and Mascara. And I mix that up with the e.l.f. Brow Lift. Most of my products is hella affordable. I actually do want to like really get into like my eyebrows. But shit, I'm going to let this dry first. Primer. It's not even that tacky. But I recently bought the this one. I always wanted it. Like when, when I first got into makeup. And even a little before that, when I was watching other people make videos, and like the white girls had they shade in this, but they had no dark shades. Listen, Maybelline had no dark shades in this concealer. It was always the white shade. They never had no dark shades. And even when they came out with it, I still ain't try it. But I bought it because I wanted to try it. Anyways, so my primer damn near barely even tacky. I'm going to spray my face with this. this. This can prime and set, so that's why. This is not a tutorial. I'm not even done talking because she make me mad. Oh, I wanted to do concealer first. Yeah, I wanted to do concealer first. Because I've been seeing people do that, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it. The concealer and contour before you do your... um. Makeup. I mean your foundation. I 
This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer in the shade Dark 170 Neutral. Should I spray it? I think I'm gonna just go raw. But yeah, my laptop charger out of shortage, and the only way I've been able to charge it is like when it's already have some battery. And I noticed it's about to die. I gotta hurry up, plug it in, and figure out which way it gotta be. <laughs> which way the charger gotta be like manipulated so that it charged. Because once it's dead, it's like, damn, you just, you looking for a needle in a haystack. Like with my little vlog, like, I vlog like a little bit. This is a Fenty Beauty concealer in the shade 410. I'm just putting that at the inner part of my eye. I'm going to put it over here too because it's still hella dark. Honestly, this was, this one's still a dry down hella fast. I just remembered that. From like, because I was about to say the texture is like way different. I, the hyaluronic one from ColourPop is obviously more hydrating. But damn, this one, I'm like, hold up. This one, like just from the texture, you can tell the difference. This one's more drying. Alright, this one dry hella fast. But still, I'm gonna do my eyes last. Also, the brush I'm using is a Morphe brush. Alright. I don't understand how people do this, because... Do y'all set it? Or... I'm confused. Like, do you set it, or do you, like, just leave it, like... I want, I, I need to get some powder puffs too. It's like, and there's like hella stuff I need to buy. Like, skincare products I haven't had. Like, I need to re-up on my skincare. I'm gonna set it because I don't have time. That's when, I used to bake when I first started. Actually, every video on my channel is on my channel. Like, I never deleted any video off my channel. Because I'm not that type of person. Like, I'm not embarrassed about how I used to be in high school. Or how I used to look. Like, one time when I was in high school, the girl, she was my friend. She was like, why did somebody, mind you, we was in, what year was this? I think this was sophomore year. Yeah, I think, I don't really know. It was one year. And we had technology together. And basically she's like, oh, um, why somebody just airdropped? Mind you, at that time, I didn't have an iPhone. I didn't get an iPhone till I was in my senior year, like the summer before senior year. When I first started high school, I didn't have a phone. I had an iPod Touch that I still got. I didn't have a phone. I got a phone around Christmas and it was an Android. So I had that Android phone all the way up to the summer of senior all the way up for the summer before senior year. so like the summer before the senior year, that was when i got my first job and i bought well yeah me and my uncle like kind of went half on the iphone oh it looks good like are you not supposed to set i'm confused because if i don't set it's gonna but yeah somebody she was like oh somebody airdropped me this um this video where or this picture of me like with like purple lipstick on first of all i was shocked i was like what the fuck <laughs> i was like huh because like i knew i don't wear like bright lipsticks and even back then i wasn't wearing bright lipsticks like not even leaving the house even so i'm like i knew somebody had got that shit from my youtube channel i don't know what video specifically I know it was an old video, and I know I look the hot ass man. <laughs> I don't know, like, I know somebody got that from the YouTube channel. Because where else you gonna get it? It's out of compression. Oh, yeah, let me tell y'all what Morphe brush that was. That was the Morphe M173. It's perfect for blending out concealer. And for to set my eyes, I just used... I just used the Morphe R37. But it's hella fluffy. 
honestly usually i will use the ofra 106 because it's like angled and this will be good for nose control too but i use that whatever but yeah i'm like she's like somebody somebody just sent me a picture of you <laughs> nah she like yeah somebody sent me a picture somebody air dropped it that's 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 what got me because I don't even got an iPhone at the time, so I'm like, damn. Like, everybody is over there flirting with their crush playing um, 8-Ball or whatever. My ass. I don't know why. I tried to download the fucking 8-Ball game app on my phone, thinking that's what everybody was talking about. And I was like, oh. But anyways, yes. It smells so good. It smells so fruity. But anyways, yeah, she's like, yeah, somebody just airdropped me this video, uh, you, or this picture of you, uh, you in some purple lipstick. I was really shook. Like, they gagged me. Like, they, they, they got that one. I don't know who did it, because when I was like, oh my god, like, show it to me, she, the shit was gone. I'm like, like, you're a fan. Whoever sent that out, you a fan, for real. Like, it's giving fan, like. Why are you sending pictures of me? Like, you going on my page and you, you going on my YouTube channel, but you're not even subscribed. Like, if you going to do that, at least subscribe. Oh, yeah, this video where just be me talking shit. Like, you doing all that, but you... I still don't know who sent it to, to this day. To this day, I still don't know who sent it. But I really don't give a fuck, because... Honestly, I be posting. I, I used to be like hella, like not even wanting to tell people I had a YouTube channel because you know when you're in high school, you still feel like oh, you still kind of you still care what people think because they your peers. You see the motherfuckers every day, or whatever. But now I don't give a fuck about nothing because at the end of the day, I I know this is gonna take off. I just know it. Like I kind of feel like I've been doing this shit since I was in like ninth grade i just know it's gonna take off like i just gotta stay consistent like i've been manifesting hella stuff in my life recently there's no way i can't manifest this there's no way but yeah i was shook as fuck they like they gagged me and like this uh, this also talking about high school when i was in high school i used to always be the friend that shoot they shot at like you have a crush on somebody I always be the one shooting, they shooting my shot. Like, my other friends, they be so pussy. They used to be so scared to even tell the boy they like him or whatever. Like, in my opinion, you can't be scared of rejection. Like, that shit just happens. Like, you just can't be scared of rejection. If you scared of rejection, that just shows you're going to hold yourself. you just holding yourself back. Like, I'm like, I used to always be the one... You know, I go to a guy and tell him like, "Oh, I think you cute" or whatever. It was not reciprocated, but <laughs> they ain't never stopped me. Why is that dog right there? I'm, a, I'm, all right. I'm gonna give y'all some. Um, I think like every year I went up to a guy and got rejected. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Like I'm laughing, but you know, I wasn't really. I never got sad about it. It was like, damn. But then I was like, oh my god, <laughs> you don't like me. Like, if you don't like me, you don't like me. That's that's cool. Because it was hella people in there. I ain't fucking like, oh, I need to bring on this nose contour. This is the Elf Complexion Duo, by the way. So, yeah. Um, in ninth grade, I had a crush on this boy. We had drama class together. And I feel like he knew I had a crush on him. I feel like, I feel like he knew because, I'm going to tell you what happened. I never really contour my nose either. I'm just doing shit. I do not be doing, I do not be doing Like, this shit is not, look at it. I don't know. I don't know. That's, that, I think that's too much. I need to blend it out some more. I'm using this Morphe M36. This is a highlight brush. I remember because the beauty girl used to always be like, I'm using M Morphe M36 and like, wait, shut the fuck up. Use my Morphe code. Use my Morphe code. Somebody need to do like a beauty girl um, NPC. Use my Morphe code. Use my Morphe code. 
highlight. Ooh, so blink. <laughs> no, that motherfuckers, they used to push no coupon codes down your throat. Like, okay, it looks better now. But yeah, so when I was in ninth grade, also this is a revolution. I'm trying to tell you my shit while I'm doing it. This side's not working. This is a makeup revolution London Ultra Cream Bronzer. Oh, this is a bronzer, it's not even contour. I look I got the shade deep. It's I think it's one more shade deeper than this. It might be. I don't know. Don't quote me. But yeah, when I was in um I need a cream blush. I'm doing all these cream products. Cream. Oh, I, I got one. I got a P. Louise. P. Louise. I think I'm gonna buy her advent calendar, not the big one. That shit cost. I look at that. That shit cost two hundred dollars. I was like, damn, bitch, two hundred dollars for a fucking calendar. I mean, for, I don't know. Two hundred dollars is a lot, but I think I'm gonna buy the small one. The small one costs eighty, so that's more reasonable. But basically. Oh my god, y'all just looking at my bed. I mean, it's not a mess. It's just Hello Kitty and a bear and my sheets. Anyways, when I was in ninth grade, I had a crush on a boy in my drama class. I thought he was funny. That's mainly why I had a crush on him. Alright, this is old, so I'm not even mad. But when I first bought him, the shit was spitting out water. Because I had a feeling he ain't like me back. Even though I heard him talking to, about me to this girl, like asking her what she, what she thought about me, that's also another thing about like I guess dating people in high school. I never dated anybody in high school, but well, dating people while you in school is like most of them is caring about what other people think about who they date. You know what I'm saying? It's not they're not gonna try to date you just because they like you most of the time. It means it's like, oh, what do you, like, they ask their friends, what do you think about her? What do you think about her? Do you think she cute? Do you think she cute? And a lot of men still act like that, like, to this day. Like, even grown men, like, they won't date somebody if their friends don't think they cute. Or, like, other shit. Like, you letting other people control your life. Like, let's be real. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be doing this cream. It's, it it just keep on. Yeah, that's not gonna work. But I'm like, oh, uh, like, are like you asking other people what they think about me? Like, and I heard her say like, oh, whatever. Because my school was uniform, so the only thing that made you different because everybody wore a uniform. Even though our school like had different shirts, like we had black shirts white shirts pink shirts blue shirts I, when they run the pink shirts out i was like yeah i need like five of those but her say oh she something but i always wear the same shoes so like when you wear when you wear a uniform to school the only thing that people really try to look at you as by see if you could dress is like what shoes you have or if you're a girl, like, what shoes and what what, bur what bag you have. Well, I don't really know. Really, what, what shoes? Because that's the only thing that can show how you is. And at the time, what the fuck was I wearing? I was wearing some Asics. <laughs> All my shoes I wear is, like, it would never be shoes that everybody else want to wear. It would, be, it would never be shoes I've seen anybody else with. Up in that school. Because I'm, I'm not a dick eater. I'm not a follower, like... If I find the shoe cute, I'm gonna buy it for myself. I'm not buying shoes just because everybody else got it. I'm not, I've never been that type of person. All my shoes have been like colorful shoes. Like my last first day of shoes, they was colorful feelers that nobody else was wearing. Cause motherfuckers, they ain't even like feelers, but they say, "Oh, your shoes cute though." Oh yeah. Oh, I know. Freshman year, yeah, it wasn't no other guy I had a crush on. Sophomore year. Hmm. Seeing the guy that was in my class, my English class, and we was in the um the summer reading group together. So when school started back up, you had to present whatever. So whenever school started back up, and I didn't read the, during the summer, like sophomore year, I didn't read during the summer. So 
every time they go over some type of passage from the book or break stuff down from the book, I write hella notes because I'm like, this is the only way I'm ready to make an essay because I'm not reading this fucking book. I'm not reading. I wasn't reading that book. It, and I heard it was a good book too, but shit, my ass, I just can't. I ain't buy it. I can't get around to it. I was like, oh no. But my dude, I ain't had to buy it because my um, my brother went to the same school I went to. So he had the book. So me, and my brother, and my cousin all went to the same school. I'm like, okay, we, we working in a group. Like it's not even. It's not all on me. I don't want to fail nobody else. So, I read the book and I'm like, okay, okay, whatever. I don't know why teachers be mad when people don't do the summer work. It's summertime. Why is y'all giving us work? Y'all don't have the work during the summer. But anyways, yeah. I had a crush on him. I thought he was cute. Let me tell y'all what happened. This is what irked me. Because I told y'all, I don't have a problem telling nobody I got cross on them. It was a bus stop, like, right at the bottom of the school. And it was a bus stop all the way, like, a, a block down from the school. So, he would always be at the bus stop a block down. And I usually wait for the bus that's at the bottom of the school. Because I ain't never feel like walking down. <laughs> Did I look bronze enough? I think I need to add some more. Well, yeah, um, so one day I get the courage to walk down. My job, it, it was, I don't know if it was hot or if I was just sweating. I definitely was just sweating a little. And I'm like, I went over there. No, no, no. I had texted him on Instagram first. Not doing, like, out of school or whatever. Cause I found his Instagram, I followed it, and I texted him on Instagram, and I was like, "Wait, no, sophomore year, it was somebody." <laughs> no, not the way I just erased that whole thing from my mind. I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna go to sophomore year first. I know it's all in one place. I don't know what class we had together, but I saw him and I thought he was cute. That's just that's all it took for me. <laughs> but it wasn't really that many people I saw and thought was. And we was texting on Instagram. Like, we was texting a lot. But the thing about him, he used to always only text me at night. But it never be on no, no freaky shit. It would always be, like, normal shit. But it was, like, I don't know. Every guy I had a crush on, I always felt like they didn't like me. Like, they didn't, maybe not even didn't like. Like, probably didn't have a crush on me back. So, it's like, I always felt like it was kind of one-sided. Which it was, because, it. I mean, it definitely was. It showed... It wasn't no, like, real obvious things. But to me, like, you could feel it. You could feel it. Me, I'm an empath, so I could feel it. But I don't know. I don't really know what happened at the end of it. It wasn't really, it didn't go, it didn't go nowhere. That should, I, I think it just stopped on both ends. So, yeah. But back to junior year. I had a crush on the guy I was in the group with. I texted him on Instagram. Mind you, he was friends with this other guy I knew. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh. I said, what you doing? And he left me on scene. He had left me on scene, like, maybe, like, a couple days after. I'm not really sure. But I'm like, all right. I was bold. I felt bold. He was the only one over there, too. So I definitely felt bold. Like, yeah, I could ask him. He alone. I walked over there. Cause like, mind you, I'm never, I never been the type to double text somebody. Like, you left me on scene, and I said what you doing. I'm not really say which way to my message. I'm not really say that through text. I say that shit in person. So I walked down there, and I'm like, at first I was standing there because I was like, building up the courage, building up the courage. And I'm like, all right, let me go, let me go say something. I'm like, oh, uh, why you ain't um text me back on Instagram? I told y'all I asked him in person. Why you ain't touching back on Instagram? But I wasn't like even mad. I was just asking like, I don't know. My boyfriend told me that I'd be coming off as aggressive and mean. I don't think I did. Most of the time, I don't think I did. But I'm like, why you ain't touching back on Instagram? But I was like smiling like, it wasn't like, I wasn't trying to press him. Well, I kind of was pressing him, but I wasn't really trying to press him. All right. 
he gonna say, I didn't know what to say. I told you I tested the nigga. What you doing? <laughs> you ain't know what to say to her. What you doing text? Get the fuck out of here. Obviously, that was just literally him just trying to say, I didn't want to talk to you. It's just fine. Like, just say the shit straight up. Like, you don't got to lie and say, I ain't know what to say. How you ain't know what to say? All I said was, what you doing? Now, what's the square root of 5,298? What the fuck? And then he said that, obviously I caught it. And I was like, oh, okay. Let me leave this thing on wrong. It's his ass. You know, if somebody don't like you, they don't like you. I'm telling y'all about rejection. He ain't like me, he ain't like me. So I'm like, all right, let me back off. Next thing you know, it might be harassment. It's like, no. And when I told her that, she was so mad that, she, that he was like, Oh, um, he ain't know what to say. Like, fuck you mean? She was mad as shit. I don't like, girl. Like, fuck that. Like, who gives a fuck? He was literally joking about it. He was like, hey, no, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. You don't know what to say to what you doing? Like, nigga, what do you know? But, like, I can laugh at it. Even when it happened, I was laughing at it. Because, like, there's so many people in the world. It's like, you can't really take one. You can't take that to heart. There's so many people. Just because one person don't want you. Just because two people don't want you. It's going to be somebody. Trust trust and believe. It's going to be somebody. That's why I like you. The same way you like them. So, yeah. I guess he told his friends. We had a mutual friend. Well, I wouldn't really say I was that, like, that close of a friend. But we was cool. Told him. His ass, he got a big mouth. So, he like... This nigga, he gonna ask me on the bus while he was messy and shit for that. He gonna ask me on the bus while me, him, my other friend, and the rest of all they friends is on the bus. He like, oh, Jonay, I heard you was trying to talk to talk to him, but he 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 said he he said he ain't like you. That's why I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. I'm like. He ain't say he ain't like me. I texted him, what you doing? And he gonna say, and then I asked him why he ain't answer. And he gonna say he ain't know what to say. Like, you didn't say, he did not say he didn't like me. And that, I mean, that speaks for itself that he ain't like me. I mean, cause he was too scared to say he ain't like me. I guess he thought he was gonna hurt my feelings. It would not have been hurt. It would be better for you to tell me the truth than you lie to my face. I'm like, like, it's the fact that he lied to his friends, talk about something he told me he ain't like me. Those words never left your mouth. But it's like, it's the fact that, first of all, why if you ain't like me, why are you even talking about me to your friends? Like saying like, oh yeah, she tried to talk to me. And I told her I ain't like her. You lying to your friends? You lying? Don't be lying. Honestly, in high school, I don't think anybody had a crush on me. I was very quiet. I mean, I'm still a very quiet person. But one thing that always gonna stay with me, I'm really spot. Like, people treat me no type of way, especially now. Like, when you grow up, I don't know. I'm just always ready. <laughs> I don't know. When I got in senior year, I stopped caring about everything. Like, I don't know if it was because how my family life was going. But I literally ain't give a fuck about nothing. <laughs> like, my grades were still good. But I was going, I was fucking, I mean, I was going shit normal high school was doing. I feel like everybody skipped school. Everybody smoked weed. I wasn't drinking. People was drinking, coming to school drunk and shit, like. I don't know. I ain't even had no alcohol in my house to even do no shit like that, but I wasn't drinking. The only thing I was doing was smoking weed, skipping class, coming to school hella late. But my grades was good as fuck. I was that I was that person senior year. I never make it a first period because my senior year teacher, my first grade teacher, he was such a fucking asshole. I'm like, I hope his wife divorced him. I'm like, I used to be so mad. I'd be like, I hope his wife I hope he come home and he see his wife cheating on him. 
Damn, I did not like that man. He was so mean for no reason. Teachers who are just mean, like, I see you got a bad class, then you could be mean to him. That's reasonable. But it's the first day of school, you already being mean to us. Like, damn. You not even trying to be nice. Y'all like this video? Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more. Ask me some questions down below. Let me spill the tea. I spill the tea. Oh, hey.